Adventures by the Book, your ticket to exotic locations and renowned authors who will guide you to destinations they have written about. The wine and Francis Mays, that was phenomenal. Experience the area and the author. For example, our adventure under the Tuscan sun. Adventures by the Book recently toured this magical and historic land of vineyards, villages and farms. It's also the home of some notable authors. Because my third book, Zaduzo Vini Toscani, too much Tuscan wine. Dario Castagno, a New York Times notable author of such books as Too Much Tuscan Sun. Well, currently we are in a, in a very ancient uh, winery called Diebole, which has been producing wine for more than 900 years. Dario specializes in tours of the Chianti area. He took our group on an insider's tour of Villa Diebole, where we got to experience a wine tasting in the old hotel's wine cellar. This is the ancient cellar. It's no longer in use. And after the tour, our group had the chance to get their books signed by the author. Do you autograph wine bottles too? <laughs> <laughs> you want? <laughs> okay, church service over. <laughs> The beloved international best-selling author of Under the Tuscan Sun held a lunch with amazing authentic cuisine ranging from pumpkin blossoms stuffed with ricotta to a grilled tomato stuffed with buffalo mozzarella. Frances Mays, who has numerous other bestsellers, gave our group a reading from her most recent book. Another cultural point. If they play boche as a birthright, isn't it wrong for an American to knock their balls, so to speak? <laughs> After we've had a couple of courses, I'd love to chat with everyone and see if anybody has any questions and talk some more. And then, Please Francis introduced our Adventure by the Book group. So this is like a dream come true for me to meet with Francis Mays and have lunch with her in Tuscany, under the Tuscan sun. <laughs> The best Italian comes out in a crisis. The next day, Annalisa Copolaro Noel, author of How to Live Like an Italian, had dinner with us and shared her thoughts on the local culture. <laughs> we toured the Monte family winery, which is the subject of Ferenc Monte's vineyard in Tuscany. We have four types of grapes, Merlot, Cab, Syrah, and Sangiovese. And so we bought the place and it was a complete ruin. It took us about two years to rebuild, and uh, in 1997 we, we planted our first vineyards. And sample what is considered some of the most prestigious wine in Tuscany. And it all took place in the historic house that was made famous in his book. And when you travel with Adventures by the Book, your experience will be as historic as Tuscany itself. You'll stay in hotels dating back hundreds of years. This is all Chianti Classico, and Chianti Classico may be planted only between Siena and Florence. Chianti! 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 Chianti. Oh my god, this is fabulous. It's fantastic, and the history that has gone along with it is just great. It's been delightful. I think all of our uh, tour guides have been very well informed and have in turn informed us. Manja, manja. And of course, what Italian adventure would be complete without some great food?
Every night we had many dining adventures by the book. Borgo Scopeto, an historic world-class winery, hotel and restaurant, served up an amazing five-course meal fit for a king. And even lunch was a gourmet experience. Our driver Enzo took it upon himself to consult with the owner of La Bottega Ristorante, where a truffle-infused pasta dish was one of the best meals our group experienced, where the wine flowed, where the pasta was perfect, and the view seemed to go on forever through the Tuscan countryside. La Bottega, fantastico, ventissimo, <laughs> excellent. If you love truffles, this is the place to come. My favorite thus far. It was fabulous. We also had the chance to experience the art of Tuscan cooking at Il Campo Cucina with a meal that started fresh from the garden. Basil, tomatoes, eggplant, um, uh, chili, and a five-star Michelin chef who revealed the secrets of cooking exquisite Italian cuisine. Fuori tutte le sue parti aromatiche. Okay. Uh, uh, first he put uh, a mm -hmm. little of olive oil and then he cut the, um, the meat in um, little big pieces. Ah, lunch è stato stupendo, squisito, questi sapori di una volta mi piacciono tantissimo. If I had to die right now, it would be fine. The dinner was fabulous. I think it was fun to watch everybody participate. I think having a community group like this, these long tables are just romantic. If you want to immerse yourself in the Tuscan culture, to experience the people, the food, the literature, and the fun, the adventures, please consider us for your next Italian experience. So we look forward to seeing you on our next Adventure by the Book. Salute! Sounds good to me. <laughs>